anybody else that started and maybe kind of shifted. I'm going here to get here, but this isn't real congruent. It's, a, it's about creating that congruency. You know, this cairn, the reason it's congruent is because it might seem out of whack. And we saw some great examples. It might not seem lined up, but there's a point of balance to it. There's a pivot point in that to where they might be all juxtaposition, but there's something singular in that. And what is that singularity? What is that commonality? What is that thread through that organization, through you, that keeps you consistent, the axis of which you spiral around? What is that thing that you say yes to? We talked to John. John, what is it that makes you say yes to some things and no to others? You know? Um, if it was just music and they were dancing panda bears, you know, <laughs> he might go, yeah, it's music, but I'm just not. I don't know. And so, so can we have one more and then we'll bring in our next speaker? I'll do all right. I wrote down three goals, but then it all just comes down to the same thing. So, um, <laughs> so my, it's kind of like better scheduling, more satisfaction for my work. So um, why do I want to do that? So I can feel like I can close the door and end my day, mm -hmm. walk away from the agency. So I can what? Have a separate personal life um, like I used to. <laughs> <laughs> when I used to go, well, that's his problem. Um, so I don't have to feel like I'm always working for others, even though I want to, I need a break to revive myself. Um, and then, so so I can what? Work on my personal relationships, because <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> um, I wrote down, as an aside, right now, um, I feel like I treat my relationships like work. I schedule them and put limits on them, so. Yeah. And then, <laughs> that's <laughs> not a highlight. Um, so I can share life with other people and learn from them and, and help them and do the same. So, so, and so what was the last one that you read to you? Is your deepest so I can what? Um, so we can just share our lives together. Mm. Wow, mm. wow. So we can share our lives together. How does that feel with the group? How does that sit so we can share our lives together? Well, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's life changing and that's what this is meant to be congruency that's the young man who was about to sacrifice 30 years of his life to make sure his parents loved him yeah. it's poignant it's meaningful and it's significant and before we do this journey let's be sure of our journey let's be sure we're going to end up on a mountain and it's going to be a hollow victory we're going to stand there we're going to have a perspective, but it won't be the perspective we tended. It'll be empty. When my mom died a few years ago, I said that the feeling I had was I was now playing to an empty audience. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important when we set out to know what is our intention and what is the congruency. As we build this, let's not make a pile of rocks. Anybody can throw rocks in a, in a, in a bag. Let's build something that has a sense of congruency and balance to it. So that when we do these goals and these wonderful exercises this afternoon, there is a synergy and an energy and a balance to them that are congruent with who we are at our deepest. And I think there's a commonality we all share in that. And so being rooted and grounded uh, is a lot of what this is about. I hope this exercise it's been meaningful to you, and I think it's one that you can apply on a regular basis. Catch yourself in those frenetic moments by asking yourself, so I can what? So I can what? And that will be kind of a solvent that will kind of take the mind and degrade it down to what it is that you're truly after. And then from that base, we can build some things that are truly, consciously wonderful. All right, well, thank you so much. Um, we have a great